Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Hey, it is Monday. Today is Monday's trade. All right. So if you uh, looked at my video, I posted last night on Instagram and on my YouTube channel. Uh, I definitely posted a video about our preparation for today, what we are, what we're going to do, um, what's our possible setups for today. If price does this and price, if price does that. So as you can see, I'll, like I always do, I always screen share with y'all on tradingview.com. Look at the XPX. Right now I'm on a 15 minute, but I'm gonna go back to a 30 minute just to show y'all. So right now, like I say, if you look at the videos yesterday, um, that I posted yesterday, um, as you can see, price gapped up. Price gapped up, broke this high and broke this high, and it broke this high as well, or is about to be or close to breaking that next high. So however, this area right here is great buying territory to get into a put. So I'm gonna put a blue box around this area around here. I love this area right here. So this is great buying ter buying territory to get in the put right now. And as you can see, price is definitely is, is falling a little bit from the selling pressure that we just went in and just went into. And and it's 1:25 p.m. right now. And I just clocked into work. I just got back from working out, went to the mountain, and ran a little bit, and got back home, got some breakfast, and then here here I am. So I definitely looked at the chart beforehand before I got on this video, um, just to see what I can get in or what, I can, what is my potential, what I'm looking for. Right now, I am looking at a put around 28.30 right now. A put around 28.30 right now area. And I'm also looking lower just in case because price is, is taking a little dip. So. Potentially, I've been looking somewhere lower than that, but I am looking at a put at 2830 right now. But however, I am definitely looking at a put lower than that. All right, so and my friend Braxton, he's at a put at 2830 as well, where I'm at. Um, Jaron, he's looking at a put at around, I think he got in around 2820. So we are in the same area right now, and they got filled like an hour ago. So we in the same area, same now, same, same concept. Same strategy, like I taught them, um, we just needed price to gap on to break these highs so we can get in at a put. And right now, price is, is in some sun territory. That's why you see some some dropping right now. So, and so we should anticipate price to drop and retrace a little bit to get get us in, get us filled in our full uh, order. So, and that's that's it for right now. Is like I say, it's one twenty six p.m. Um, and just stay tuned. Like I said, like I always do in every video, I always keep you updated, see if I do this and if I did that. And just keep you updated on how the chart looks as as the day go on. And we have less than three hours left in the trading day. All right. So like I said, it's option talks, it's a Tim Molden, and high probability, high reward. And that's how we do it. All right. Stay tuned. All right, everybody. We back. It is 2.04 p.m. And I ate some good breakfast, took a shower. Um, then I will let me back on the charts. All right, just a little update. As you can see, prices rallying back up again off of that little drop we saw back around like 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 a one o'clock, like one twenty six p.m. That did a little drop. Now it's going back up. I am getting filled at twenty eight thirty as we as the time go by. Um, and everybody else trade is working. Braxton's trade is working. He's fully filled. Uh, Jaren's trade is working. He's fully filled. And yeah, I'm right now just trying to get filled all the way at 28.30 for a put. All right. So just to recap, the reason why I did a put or all three of us did a put is because price gapped up and opened up and gapped up this morning above these highs. It broke these highs right here, these pivots. So um, this is a great area for a put. So and then and that's it. Um, price just broke those highs. This is a great area of buying territory. And that's where you want our put to be in this area right around here. All right, so it is 2.05 p.m. We have less than two hours left in the trading day. All right, so like I say, if you want to take these trades, take out your own risk. Um, but option talks is not reliable. <laughs> but however, this is the trade right now. All right, this is a beautiful trade. Price did what we wanted to do. Uh, and that's what we what we talked about in the last video and Sunday talk, just anticipation that price was going to get up and then we know what we was going to do once it does that. All right. so. And that's how we trade, all right? So, and I'll be going back and forth to keep you updated and see if my order can continue to get filled or whatnot. But other than that, that's how, that's how we work, all right? Stay tuned. 
All right, everybody, welcome back. It is um, it's almost 3.10 p.m., less than an hour left in the trading day at, on Monday. So right now, uh, as you can see, prices are going up. And right now on the 30 minute, it made a new high. So we're looking at, looking at this pivot right here as a new buying territory right here. So that's a good buying territory pivot. So price has to break this pivot for in order for us to even go uh, do a call. So right, but right now, like we said, price got up this morning and broke these highs. So we definitely look for a put anyway. That's our number choice, number one choice in trading or the trade you want to take for today. So as you can see, my put at 2830 is still working. Braxton put is still working. Jaren's put is still working because we are in the same area. So, and prices continue to go well. And we got less than, uh, less than an hour left. So, hey, it comes easy like that. All right, just a little simple strategy that gives you high probability and results in high reward. All right, and that's what we do at Auction Talks. All right, and like I said, it's 3.11 p.m. now. Hey, I'll be back at 4 o'clock and see how the chart in, um, ends for the day, where it closes, and see if we make some money. And high probability we are going to make some money today on this good money to start off the week. All right, so like I said, this is Auction Talks. All right, stay tuned. All right, everybody, welcome back. Hey, it is almost 4.30 p.m. All right, just to update you on how today went, it's past four o'clock, so it's payday. It's the time for our checks to come through our bank accounts. All right, so as you can see, price stayed at, it closed at 28.78, and we put in the put at 28.30. That was my first trade, and I also did another put at 28.50 as well. All right, just to add on to make some more money. So both of my puts worked today. As prices continue up, make new highs, make new good buying territory, buying territory pivots as it, was, as it kept going up. So I can definitely go in and put more puts in. So my two trades and my two puts worked out because as you can see, it's, it closed above my strike prices or stayed above. Um, Braxton's um, strike price worked at 28.32. Jaren's worked at, um, Jaren's, he did it at 28.20, but he did not get filled. But either way, it would it would have worked. All right, it's just high probability. So as you can see, like from Sunday, we definitely said we want to price the gap up, break these highs, then we get in at a put somewhere in this area. And it, it, it did what, exactly what we said. So, and that's how you make money. That's how you anticipate the market. That's how you understand the movement of the market and what it does and what it can do for you. All right, it's that simple. They had to break a high, we in the put. That simple, all right? So that's why I love the S&P. The S&P, definitely, definitely, I understand the movement. I understand how, how it reacts, how it, it moves. It, and it took time. I spent two years um, trading XPX only in options. The only thing I ever traded in options, and that will be the only thing I trade in options. And so these past two years, I definitely understood the movement. I understand the way um, it reacts off of news. If it does this, if it does that. It, you see it so many times. So the same patterns every day, every time, every time you trade. And you just, you just make it, it's just bonding. You build a great relationship with it, all right? And and it, it works, all right? Has it been broken, so I fix it. So I just keep it that simple, all right? But as you can see, our trades definitely work today. And this was a great, great way to start our week, all right? We got two more trading days in the week. I might do a swing trade, who knows? But like I said, all my videos, I always keep you updated. I always keep my followers and my, on Instagram, my subscribers on YouTube updated how my life goes as a trader. And I'll definitely tell you, all right? But great trade today, 28.50, 28.30 for a put. That's what Option Talk does, all right? And that's what we want. We want high probability trades that give us high reward, all right? Tim Moda, Option Talks. And check out this video. After I post on Instagram and YouTube, and definitely go to the the video um, on Sunday just to just to see how today went and how we prepared for today. All right, just want you to know everything, every step that I went through to make money today. All right, so hey, get ready for Tuesday talk and Tuesday talk video this is tomorrow. All right.